right, in this video, we're going to dive into the weather piece of KOWP in a recent update sometime in August of 2017, maybe it was in July, uh, KOWP got a big update. It now supports Weather Underground built directly into it. You also need to pick up the custom weather plugin from the Play Store to use Weather Underground. And I want to show you some benefits and also how to set things up. As you can see right now in my on my custom live wallpaper, chance of rain is 0%, um, but my weather provider is Yahoo right now. Uh, this is the weather station ID. We're going to look at how these things can change. So uh, Yahoo provides a 10-day forecast, but Yahoo does not provide any precipitation support. It does not provide a chance of rain support because I got these little no things here. The number of hours, there is no hourly forecast from Yahoo. But let's explore some of the other ones before we dive into the weather underground. So inside of KOWP, let's go to our settings. And we're going to come down to the weather provider. And as you can see, I do have it set to Yahoo. Let's just do one of these ones that come uh, with KOWP that we don't need an API key for. So open weather map, for example. No API key needed for this. Let's go ahead and force an update so that we can make sure this is saying open weather map. So now that that's been updated, we should be able to back out of here. Let's save this. You can probably read it right there, but let's go back to the home screen. And now open weather map, my, this provider here, it gives us uh, some different, you know, number of days of forecast, 14 days. Still no precip or it does offer precipitation support, but no chance of rain. So it still says 0% chance of rain, but I think it, there is a chance of rain today. Also notice the open weather map provides a uh, hourly forecast, you know, number of hours in forecast is 40 hours. The step means it's going to do it in three hour increments, if I'm not mistaken. I I'm pretty sure that's what it means. I could be a little off there, but 40 hours worth of forecasting in three hour increments, if that makes sense. So let's go look at another weather provider. And looking at this list now, you can kind of see what's provided. You know, Yahoo only gives a 10 day forecast. Uh, open weather map gives a 14 day, as we saw there, an hourly forecast. Um, it says 120 by three. So something with that 120 and three where the 40 gets tossed into it, just play around with those numbers. And look at this one, weather.com even provides a chance of rain. So let's go to weather.com real quick, force an update. So now we have weather.com and let's see what we have now. Um, as you can see here, we do have some changes. We have a 20% chance of rain. You know, the one we just looked at, I think it was open weather map. Uh, maybe it did offer precipitation support, um, but it didn't offer chance of rain. Whereas weather.com does the exact opposite. And you may notice the weather station ID is changing for each one of these, the number of days of forecasts, but weather.com does not offer hours in forecast. No hourly forecast offered there, but weather.com does give you the percentage chance of rain. So this is where Weather Underground comes into play. Check out a video I did a while back on setting up the API key for Weather Underground because you do need an API key in order for Weather Underground to work. Um, so let's go ahead and look and see how this is going to work in KOWP. So kind of starting from scratch with this custom weather plugin, you, you'll notice that now I have this play icon. If you have not downloaded custom weather plugin, you'll be presented with this icon here. So if you just tap on weather underground, it's going to take you to the play store to install the custom weather plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and reinstall this. I did uninstall this for demonstration purposes. So once that is installed, open. And all this is is a plugin, so you can actually hide this from your launcher um, so you don't have to see this icon in your app drawer or whatever. But now back inside of KOWP, the icon is gone, and now we are ready to rock and roll with, uh, you know, if you wanted the Dark Sky, I think Dark Sky requires a paid subscription, but uh, Weather Underground, you can get a free API key. You just have to watch out for the number of calls that you uh, do. Um, and you can monitor that from the Weather Underground API website. So let's just tap on Weather Underground. And it's going to ask you to use an API key and you want to copy and paste your API key into there. So once you have that API key in there, again, watch that video I did a while back on getting an API key and all that stuff. But now notice my weather provider is Weather Underground. And what it should do now, according to this network refresh, it should you know do a weather refresh every 30 minutes unless you're constantly forcing this, which makes me believe that it's going to limit the number of calls. And that was an issue we were having a while back, unless you resorted to Tasker to complete your calls and then send those variables over to KOWP. 
but all that should be fixed now. So Weather Underground is my current provider. And now let's see all of the new good stuff that we get with the Weather Underground API. We get yeses to everything, uh, precipitation support, uh, chance of rain support. As you can see, we have a 20% chance of rain where I am. Um, we did get some rain this morning. The weather stations changed. We have 36 hours worth of forecast, and this is in one hour increments, if I'm understanding this correctly. And uh, yeah, so you get a lot more information, you know, and this is for free. Uh, the API key is for free. Again, check out that video I did a while back. With all that said, let me just show you a few things that will be available once you use Weather Underground API. So I have a text item centered in the center of my screen, and we're just going to look at some of the things that Weather Underground provides to us. You can also get this information from the play.google.com website with uh, the custom weather plugin, but notice Weather Underground gives us a 10-day forecast, 36 hours worth of hourly forecast, and we get chance of rain and precipitation. Uh, precipitation, I'm assuming, refers to the amount of precipitation that we have. All that stuff can be found underneath the WI function. So I'm gonna to go to WI, weather info, but we can also find some of this underneath the WF function as well, the weather forecast function. So if we look down in here, notice uh, my weather provider is Weather Underground. You know, you got a different station ID. Uh, we have 10 days worth of weather forecast. Uh, precipitation support, you know, I just did a little if then thing, but notice we do have it one if available. We do have precipitation support with Weather Underground. We have chance of rain support one if available. Notice we have a one return to us there. The number of hours in the hourly forecast matches up perfectly with, with what is over here, 36 hours. And then notice the step, provider length of hourly forecast entries in hours, usually one. Well, we did see one where it was a three hour step, but what I'm assuming here is that you can get a hourly forecast for each hour over the next 36 hours. So that's plenty of information with this free Weather Underground API and you know the custom, the new KOWP update with the custom weather plugin. Um, also check out one more thing as well, the WF function, which has even more things if available, but notice a lot of these things are available. The chance of rain or the chance of precipitation 12 hours from now is a 24% chance of rain. Pretty cool. Notice it says if available. All of these things will be available uh, to you through that Weather Underground API. If you want to pay for the dark sky, have at it. But uh, I want to give you a real quick overview, you know, some pros and some cons of the weather providers that don't require an API key versus the ones that do require it. We have plenty of weather stuff available to us with this new update to KOWP. And there you have it. That's just a real quick overview of the custom weather plugin and the new updates to KOWP that we've had just, you know, within the last month. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.